Bismillah. Hello, welcome back to the second lecture on image processing. This class, we shall discuss some simple image manipulation like how to add two images, subtract two images, flip the image left to right, upside down and transpose, rotate the images either in anti-clock or anti-clockwise direction, reducing the image to the half. Either we can make half the width or half the weight. How we can make uh, multiple images and how we can make an array of images. And this is a simple exercise. This is the continuation of the first uh, exercise. Alright. We shall continue. I have taken a MATLAB. Open a new editor let us close all the figures if it is already open clear the command window clear all the previous memory locations i will take image one the variable to read an image from the disk we use im read function and the image name is uh, cameraman.tiff and put a semicolon to disk to suppress the display then let us show the image using the im show which image im1 let us take a title title is uh, image one all right let us take another image im2 im read another image is uh, cameraman dot uh, tiff not cameraman circuit dot tiff and uh, put a semicolon to suppress the display and I am show the image 2 and take a title is uh, image 2. Alright, let us uh, save this and call this is test 2. Already the file is existing, replace it. Now let us run this. So this is my image 2, camera man dot Where is my I am 1? I am show I am one what is wrong here. So this one the old figure has gone. Therefore I will take this in a separate uh, figure. This I will take in a separate uh, figure so that both the figures are retained. Let us run. So this is my image one cameraman dot tip. This is my image two circuit dot tip. Now if we observe the sizes both the sizes are dissimilar 1 256 rows 256 columns and the second image is 280 rows and 272 columns in order to add or subtract matrices both the image size should be same therefore i will make image 2 is equal to i am resize which image i am 2 to what size to the size of image 1 all right now if i run this you can see that both my images are of the same size now i can perform image addition subtraction like that right therefore let us take i am 3 another variable is equal to i am add which two images i am 1 and i am 2 two images are added now let us uh, display the image i am 3 i am 3 and uh, this one is uh, the image 1 plus image 2 image 1 plus image 2 same way we can perform subtraction of the two image by im4 some variable equal to instead of im add i can use im subtract from image 1 image 2 is subtracted and we display im4 is equal to im1 minus im2 okay now let us run this see that you can find the first image is this one and the second image is the circuit.tiff and when we add the two images the intensity of this one and the intensity of this one are added and therefore the image looks uh, brighter here both the images are displayed and when we subtract two images the intensity of this one is subtracted from the intensity of this one therefore this one is image 1 minus image 2 since the intensities are subtracted we get a overall uh, dark image right so this one we shall comment it out and now let us see the uh, other part after addition and subtraction 
we shall see how the images could be rotated. So I will take this one more variable. I am left to right. I am L equal to flip left to right, which means I am one. And now let us show the image control V. So this time I show the I am left to right, and uh, here I give the title is equal to flip from left to right. Okay, the same way we can make the image to flip in upside down. Therefore, I take one more variable u d upside down, flip the image not left to right but upside down, and we shall show the image u d upside down. And let us take the title this one is flip from upside to down. Right. Now let us say this one left right and this one is equal to upside down. We can form the transpose image also. I can find this one is equal to IMTR is equal to we can transpose the image. We can transpose, yes, changing the rows into columns and columns to rows. Therefore, here we say I am transpose. Therefore, here I will give the title this is the transposed image <coughs> now let us run this now here you can compare the actual figure and this one see that this is the actual image when i flip left to right see that this one is rotated this way the cameraman is looking towards the right when i flip this it is it is uh, he is looking towards the left direction Right, when I flip upside down, the image is flipped upside to down. Alright, from the figure it is evident that the image has a, a mirroring effect at the bottom line. Then this one, the image transpose where the rows are changed into column, columns are changed into rows. Therefore, instead of this column, it is now visible in this column. Right, this way we can perform the simple rotation of the images by flipping upside down or left side right left to right and we can rotate the images also therefore I call it as I am phi is equal to I am rotate I am rotate which image I am one in which direction minus 45 so likewise I am six is equal to I can I am rotate and the image I am 1 to which one to plus 45 degree. Now I show the images. I am I take another figure. Okay, I am show I am show in an array. I am 5 and I am 6 are shown as an array. And this I give the title. This these are the rotated images. Rotated uh, images. Now let us run this. Now you can see that the actual image when I put minus 45, it is rotating in the clockwise direction and when I put plus 45, it is rotating in the anti-clockwise direction. This is rotated in the clockwise if I put uh, minus 45 and uh, this one rotating in the uh, anti-clockwise if we put uh, plus 45. All right. Now we can change the size of the image also. Now I will take this one equal to I am 7 is equal to I could have done simply this as equal to I am 1 but from the first row read all the rows and from the first column read all the columns. I could have simply assigned I am 1 but here I am taking all the rows and all the columns from first column to sixth column. Now if I show the image in a new figure, figure I am show which image I am 7, then let us take uh, the title, this one is the original size, I will take one of the original size, the size will be of course it will be original. Now if we see that this one, this image and this image both are same. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to reduce the height and the width. Then instead of all the rows, I can read the alternating rows and columns. Therefore, one colon, two colon, and that is read alternating rows. 
so this is the initial one is the initial value and is the last row and it between make one one jump likewise in this one from the first column skip one one column that is read one then one plus two three three plus two five five plus two seven that is you are reading alternate rows and columns therefore 256 rows and 256 columns becomes 128 half of that half of that 128 rows and 128 columns therefore this the size of the image becomes half the size the same way i could have done this way i could image a is equal to i could have read all the alternating rows but all the columns since alternating rows are there therefore this will become half the height the same way i could have done this one equal to image a and uh, i could uh, reduce the columns like this one i am 9 is equal to now re read all the rows but uh, alternating columns alternating alternating columns therefore here what happens is the width is reduced to half half now let us see whether it occurs now let us run this one see that the first image this is the actual image when we read the alternating rows and columns the size is reduced 256 rows becomes 128 rows 256 columns becomes 128 columns therefore the size of the image is reduced to half all right now likewise this one we reduce the half the width of the width means we read all the rows and alternating columns therefore the columns are reduced to half thereby we are getting the uh, shrink image in width and in this case we are reading all the columns and we read the alternating uh, rows therefore the half the height is reduced you can cross check here or here itself see that this one is 128 128 this one is 128 the height is reduced and here the width is reduced to half right i can have half right so this one we shall come and take we shall pass on to the next one we shall pass on here i can put uh, multiple images by this one i can have i can take one more image say this one is equal to i am n i can take the matrix i this one equal to i am one i am one and in another row i take i am one and i am one i am all right here what we have said is we create a matrix of uh, two columns and two rows here see that semicolon uh, makes another column now if i show in another figure figure i show this one is i am 10 and uh, now you can see that the image has uh, two rows and two columns and each entry is an image it is suppose if we want more number of rows and columns then what you can do is you can repeat the matrix i call it as i am 11 is equal to i am repeat i am repeat otherwise i think i am uh, otherwise repeat no i am repeat i think uh, the command is i am uh, repeat matrix not i am repeat matrix REP and AT repeat matrix how many rows I want three rows and four columns which image is to be repeated the image uh, uh, which image is to be repeated the I am one is to be repeated now let us show the image in another figure let us show I am show the image eleven now let us run this say that this one image I said that there are three rows so one, two, three rows and one, two, three, four columns we get. This way also we can get an array of uh, uh, images. Right, this completes the simple uh, uh, array of the matrix manipulation where we can add the two images, we can subtract the two images, the multiply and divide we have seen in our, in our earlier lecture we can flip the images, we can rotate the images, we can reduce the size either in terms of width or height and we can get an array of images using the repeat matrix. 
proprietary mining thing we shall see in this class. Thank you so much.